I'm looking right now, and I'm really confused, Ambassador Kennedy, by some of the statements that, that you're making today, in particular, the statement that has been addressed before. You say that, for example, if any administration of official, including any career official, were on television on Sunday, September 16th, they would have said what Ambassador Rice said. The information she had at that point from the intelligence community, and I see how specific you're being from the intelligence community, is the same that I had at that point. Can you explain to me how it was that on September 12th you told congressional aides that you believed it was a terrorist attack? Mr. Uh, Congressman, I told them that, that that was my personal opinion and that, there, that I also believed that it was because of the nature of it and the lethality of it uh, that it um, that was a complex attack. So how can you say here today that when you, the following day, you had an idea that it was a terrorist attack? In your opinion, I understand you're not, you claim you're not a security expert, but in your opinion, if it was a terrorist attack, how can you claim today that you would have made the same statements that Ambassador Rice would have made on TV? Ambas Ambassador Rice was asked, cer was asked certain questions about information that she had in her possession, and that was the same information I had in my possession. But you came to a different conclusion from your no, information. No, no, sir, no, sir, I did not. Uh, yes, you did. I mean, your, the statements are, are clear. Let me just ask you, you said today that there were multiple reports, and you didn't want to specify what those multiple reports were about what happened on September 11th. Can you tell us at least when those multiple reports came out? I would have to go back and refer to notes, sir. I, don't, I didn't bring in Did they come out a day after the incident, two days after the incident? I will be glad to get that information. But that's, uh, that's crucial. You knew, you knew you were coming here to testify before Congress, and you're coming here to tell us that there were multiple reports. You cannot tell us when those reports came out. As I said earlier, uh, Mr. Labrador, there was, it, we were an evolving series of reports over every day since, since the 12th Thank you. of September. He, so uh, would the gentleman oh, suspend? Yes. Uh, Ambassador Kennedy, I, I, I want to make it clear. The gentleman's asking a reasonable question. To the best of your ability, approximating, we know that seven days after the attack, there were, in fact, false statements made. The gentleman's only trying to figure out how, how many reports continue to come to you, seven days, six days, five days, four days. Give us your best you know, estimation, and then we'll let you be accurate for the record exactly. The gentleman may continue. Can you answer that question? Mr. Chairman, Mr. Labrador, I am, I am not going to speculate on numbers that I don't have firmly in my head, sir. Can you tell me if there was at least one report before September 16th that contradicted what the intelligence community was telling you and Ambassador Rice? Can you answer that question? I don't remember a, I don't remember a report that contradicted what the intelligence community was telling us. No, sir, I do not remember such But you just such told report. us here there, there were several reports. And you said there were multiple reports. I had different conclusions. As, as I said in response to an earlier question, you are asking me to go into the nature of classified reports, and I cannot do that in this session. That not the na okay. Uh, it, it's pretty clear that you're coming here with information about reports that you're unwilling to say, and I think we're going to have to have a classified hearing uh, at some point.